G'day and hello beautiful people, it is Mimo here and up in the spotlight today we have Victor for some tier 3, tier 4 action. Now he's definitely in everyone's top 3 picks of characters you want from the guaranteed 5 star recruits. If he's not in your top 3 picks, what are you even doing with your life bro? You are not living unless you have this guy in your top 3 picks. And probably you don't have him in your top 3 picks of characters you want to get from the guaranteed 5 star recruits if you've already got him. So I will accept that, I will accept that. But like I said, he's definitely one of the best characters you can get from that area of the game and what everyone wants. I was lucky enough to actually get him and I was really, really excited to get him. Now later skill wise, his all teammates get plus 30% attack against fast characters and all teammates get a medium bonus AP when attacking. Now honestly, I've never used this leader skill, I've only ever seen it used once in a defense team and that defense team was shit. So I um, definitely don't see the value in his lit, like the value in this character in the leader skill, but in saying that it is a pretty nice leader skill in that it not only offers you a medium bonus to AP, but it also offers you an attack boost there. I probably actually should try this guy against an all yellow team with my greens in behind him and see how that goes. Just to say I've actually used the leader skill. But like I said, you can definitely still use it in an effective way. I just have not seen it used in an effective way. And I don't use it to know whether it would be effective or not. So that's probably my opinion on the leader skill there. Definitely what I like him for and where his value lies for me is in that adrenaline rush. Which is that thirst for flesh. Which is a 44 AP adrenaline. Really, really nice. Very, very fast. The way you like it, 44 AP. Now something I find very interesting and I only recently realised was that his damage rate has actually changed from when he was originally released. So originally he dealt 125% damage, he now deals 175% damage. So at some point Scopely revamped that, I don't actually know when, I was just looking at an older version of the play card and a new one now to actually realise that. So that's something very interesting that you may or may have not known or actually seen. So he now does 175% damage and minus 50% defense for three turns to one enemy and all enemies adjacent to it. So he is the ultimate downing of defense character. He is going to hit everyone. If you hit the middle character, he will down the defense of everyone for 50% for the three turns which is really nice you're wiping out any blue teams like most blue teams most blue defense teams are very glass housey already in that they can't take too many hits you can buffer them up a bit but with a minus 50 percent defense for the three turns all you need is a few multi-hitters to come in over the top yellows and you're wiping out any blue team andrea's or not they're getting cane they are getting cane so that, this guy definitely is a blue killer in that regards. You know, you talk about Ben being a blue killer. He is definitely a good aspect to that blue killing roster and criteria, I guess you could say also. So it's very hard for people that have heavy blue these days to get away with running those blue defense teams. They've had to become a bit more creative and sophisticated with how they run those teams with people like Victor and Ben and Yellow Jesus running around just massive hitting or defense down in characters that are just wiping these blue teams out and that's where his value for me actually lies is in that adrenaline rush 44 ap down the defense for three turns 50 percent have a few big hitters come over the top and you have taken care of a lot of teams especially the blue teams now when maxed out it's 814 attack 775 defense and 1088 hp now that attack is actually fairly nice in the 800s there the defense is slightly low you'd want it a bit higher but overall his stats are pretty nice and of course you can use weapons to buffer him. His real value lies in that adrenaline rush and his ability to actually down people's defense for the 50% very very fast with that 44 AP and like I said he will turn teams into jelly especially if they are blue they will turn into jelly. He's quite helpful when it comes to survival road also so definitely like I said top three pick in a guaranteed five star recruit want list definitely and I really do like him but for now I bid you farewell from me and my cuddly friends and as always I hope you did enjoy see ya